tried to do everything to her that I could possibly think of. This is just the way she is. Hey, hey. Okay, guys, so I came back today to show you guys the revised version of Tara. So a lot of you know, this is her. And she was a mess when I first tried her out. So what I did was I let her sit out on the mannequin head for like since the last time I had her on. And what I did was I added some hair to her bang. That's why her bang looks really, 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 really cute. I added some hair to it. I added two rows at the very bottom. So what I did was I pinned up her, um, her bang. And I just added some number four um, yaki human hair. Of course, this is a synthetic wig. So what I had to do was curl the human hair and then blend it in with the synthetic hair. It's a wig. They're straps of hair. Doesn't matter if it's synthetic or if it's human because guess what? I don't wear it every day. So what I did, of course, like I just said, was I added the bang to make it longer and I am liking the way that she turned out. So what I'm going to do now is, of course, I'm going to go and do the same thing to my black one. And I did the bang so that I can either swoop it all one way and still have the little um, still have the little side to go back like that and there you go so like I said now I don't feel bad when I say she's a shorter version of Dallas girl of course you can you know fix that up but I just wanted to show you guys that I did the bang all the way across now here is the part that a lot of you might not want to hear about if you order this wig and if they still have the buy one get one the wig's hairline, and this is another thing that I noticed about it when I was doing the bang. If you ever have owned Bally Girl, and you guys know how thick Bally Girl's um, headline, hairline is, like where the wig should go to your hairline, how it's really thick and bulky there, that's another thing about this wig. It's just like Bally Girl at the hairline. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you about that aspect of it but as far as the wig I like it I like the color um you do have to really work with her because as you guys know I've been trying to deal with this thing for what <laughs> I don't even know how many days but yeah um I'm liking her now that I add the bang and like I said she is a shorter version of Dallas girl just with the yeah, she got the same wave as Dallas Girl to me. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me. But let me make sure this isn't synthetic wig because this thing feels just like him. I do know that if you purchase the wig, it is um, non-refundable, non-exchangeable, things like that. It's synthetic. What was I thinking? But yeah, it's, it's still just like human hair though. So, yeah, guys, I just wanted to come really, really quick and show you guys the updated version of Tara. Tara. And also, guys, I went to CVS. And I got some Rimmel makeup remover. Um, They're having it 75% off. I was looking at Miss Diva Light's video. That girl always get me in trouble. And I went to CVS and got the um, Rimmel... Um, eye makeup remover. This is all they had left was two. These things are $1.92 regularly $7.49. So I'm going to give these a try. Nothing is like my MAC wipes but it's for eye makeup. So And it's waterproof so that means it it's oil free. Yeah it's oil free. So even now if you mess up while you're doing your makeup 
you can clean up and still do your makeup again, whereas some makeup removers are not oil-free. And you have to wait for it to dry, brush the oil away, or wipe the oil away with something dry, and then start over. So, I really do like oil-free makeup removal because you can just go straight to continue to do what you're doing. Um, as far as the Revlon Photo Finish Foundation that's new from Revlon, I did give it a try and I did a video on it, but I look so scary, like pale scary, that I'm not going to post it because the variety of color is not for women of color that much. I think, Coco, well, Coco, no, I don't think, Coco Film did a video on it. And the darkest color that they have now, I'm not, I don't know if they're going to, you know, widen, widen the, the color scale on it, but the darkest color they had was Cappuccino. And even Coco said it was a little bit red, but it blended in really well, so you guys can go check out her video on it. I did get it in rich ginger. It had me looking a hot mess. I literally took it back. And I don't do the return makeup thing, but it was just, it had me looking like I was walking dead. A dead woman walking. So, I don't know. Because in a Revlon color stay, of course, I'm a 400 caramel. And it blends my skin to a T. But for some reason, the rich ginger, I don't know. I think they're discontinuing the rich ginger in the color stay because I noticed that that was 75% off as well. But, of course, who wears rich ginger? If you're NC45, it's caramel, 400. But, um, so I'm not going to, I don't have a review for that right now because the color variety is not fitting to me. So, um, yeah. But I just wanted to come back and show you guys my little reinventment of Tara. I hope you guys enjoy her this time around.